Greetings everyone, here's Lordwick again and this is a game war in the Pacific Admits Edition. This is my play by email match against Xagoon. He's a lot player. This is scenario one. On the, the older game version 26B. Uh, and in this game uh, the allies have uh, the Mark 14 issue. Good. Additional landings in Guam, but this is now only unloading of supplies. The merging and my cruisers are finding more fleeing ships out of Hong Kong, but only cargo ships. So we have night fighting. And then they're out of ammunition. And my cruiser, like cruiser Isuzu, hitting a mine in Mersing. So bad. I have normally a local minesweeper, but I think that the Sargon use a. Submarines or something else to throw mines in Mersing and uh, unluckily I don't find them early enough and hit them. And my cruisers are, this is still night engagement. Uh, uh, don't taking more on any battle because uh, one ship is at least out of ammunition, so the commander always like to choose to disengage. And these are allied subs, uh, my submarine, but. We are in deep water, so nothing happens. A Dutch sub failing to hit my submarine, uh, my destroyer. So when I get two hits on it, but only with uh, small damage. Again, if I can cripple or at least damage the enemy submarines in shallow water, then they have uh, less threat in the future. And a light cargo ship is sinking. I'm not sure why. I find here other light cargo ship uh, west of Pearl Harbor. Uh, maybe a supply runner. The mine layer and others are unloading additional troops at Rabul. Everything fine so far. Uh, shell hits on this cruiser mine layer is normally strong enough. These cruiser mine layers are stronger light cruisers, something like this. They think this kind of shell is better. Yeah, I detect here mines. But the other light cargo ship is trying to flee and sink. Enemy task forces reported, and also not reliable uh, status reports and sightings. So this was my carrier west of uh, Manila. Getting reported. And there are battleships immersing. Well, I don't know more if they are really battleships or heavy cruisers, but it is all uh, heavy surface units, and then you get this report. Uh, some 
counter attacks to slow down the movement out of uh, San Fernando my torpedo bombers this was maybe the ships uh, heavy cruisers uh, cannot engage more More ship is down. And now support bombardment in China. So far, similar to the Kill Roy game, not too much. Interfering by the allied player, in this case, several. Yeah. I try to use this time where I can flick the really damage. Once the Chinese are in rough terrain. It is uh, much more complicated. Most of this airstrikes is only disabling, <coughs> but this will also help me. And I still try to destroy some aircraft on the ground in uh, Georgetown. are a little uh, broken in smaller pieces but I also have many single runs so that I attack every hex at least once per day I will maybe not hit every unit in the hex but this is most okay first so this is my hear you and sue you running now east of Palming trying to find any slow ships what is not not left so far, I try to end now. But these are all only light cargo ships and no troops on board. And the same here, west of Manila, Porta Pancisa, there's a tanker. You can take down. I must be aware of enemy submarines and uh, of course uh, Prince of Wales or the British heavy units are also still on the table so I'm not sure where they are so I don't want to be too risky. And of course the uh, Dutch Air Force is still intact even if they are not very skillful or but good equipped. They have so far the numbers, so I like to try and lure out Dutch bombers and fighters. Some support bombardment for Guam. Here is... Ah, the boys! 
and this is a penetration. This is important that you get the penetration worth this uh, meaning is. And also a destroyer get a penetration hit. Houston is also here. With penetration. Double hit. But this one no penetration. Also no penetration. This one destroys some machine gun, but no penetration. This one go down. What's true? So two hits on the Boise, one on the destroyer and one on Houston. And the others are so the second on Houston is a, a bouncing off, and for Boise I think also two are not really penetrating. But at least uh, the Boise is now heavily damaged and heavy fire and will, I think, go down. And the destroyer is also hard or easily to lose. And I know that where, I mean, I also know now where uh, Boise is now really out of action, that's for sure. And Houston is at least uh, pressured to leave and not engage me more. This is only some AMs. Okay, one AM will at least go down. No, sinking sounds, but hard to say if there's no the destroyer or the Boise or any other ship, who knows. More landing at Rabul. Slowly, I can get my Source East Pacific Army together. So, thanks at striking again. And uh, the British are retreating. And also three Japanese division are now east of Changsha, catching here with one Chinese corp. And the Chinese are fleeing to Changsha. Okay. At least I can create uh, 100 dead squads and more support is destroyed. And for me it's only disabled. Good. I would say the operation was successful. I catch one corp and this more or less uh, defeated them. This was a uh, other battle here at the crossroad was no win for me but maybe tomorrow and that is the first battle of Hong Kong. Okay, first battle of Hong Kong the British can still hold. I have uh, a lot of disabled similar to the British but I have triple attack power and I got uh, the fort down so I would say maybe tomorrow Hong Kong will fort. This is a dot base on the way to Manila. Nothing here. And I am west of Mercy. Cut now. Ah, yeah. I catch the Australian forces. But uh, this is only the tanks attacking, so I was not able to completely wipe them out. But I take Kefing. And luckily, the Australian forces are retreating source. But Guam, I blow up the last fort. And casualties for the Americans, so I would say tomorrow they are dead. Abul is still waiting for more forces to arrive. In. Yeah, so overall still a successful turn for me. I took out one destroyer and Boise is, I think, more easy to uh, save. Houston must alone, Houston alone is also not powerful. 
And uh, uh, but no crippling blow against uh, Sagun so far. He plays is uh, really more safe. So air losses uh, light on both sides. I kill one Blenheim on the ground. The lag versus ops losses. So one kill pilot for me. Ship sunk. I lost this uh, small cargo ship. Ah. I think uh, the cargo ship hit a mine. Uh, so Boise is not here, but the destroyer is here. This would be a Clemson class destroyer, so the, I think the weakest American destroyers. The rest is all small fish, but uh, two tankers. Uh, they are. Small tankers, but okay. I mean, at least every tanker I can kill will help me because uh, fuel is also not so easy for the allies, in, at least in 42, to transport around the map, especially because of the long distance. Uh, so, victory east of Changsha, not a total victory here, but it's clear terrain and I have air force, so I would say sooner or later I can achieve here. Is my goal. Everything else is still under movement. Hong Kong, maybe I must uh, kick once more. My division is uh, my two. Uh, this hasn't my main uh, body of attack. And the fatigue and disruption is still under 10 or 20. So this is then still ready to strike again. Nothing around the Rangoon. This needs uh, at least one or two weeks to cross the mountains. My forces are now both in the hex. I tried to attack with the tanks and I kicked out one division or one British unit. There's at least one more, so this is maybe the base force or anti aircraft equipment. I don't know. Similar here with the Australians, they're holding the line one more turn. But now all the rest is here, so. I will win next turn, and then everything is uh, present or cut off from the rest of Singapore. My carriers, so you hear you finding ships, sinking some. Not sure this British ship can be everything, but uh, yeah. I have Congo, Hurana, or Haruna for yeah, cover. Uh, so covering each other uh, to make sure that no stupid uh, destroyer or whatever ship happened what happened with York that I was really a mistake from my side uh, but my cover force was maybe not the best setup here is a ship nearby next to my carriers but I had no strike coming out but because there was the other ship uh, in this hex here, I think here was Ho uh, Boise and Houston, I don't see them more. Uh, so of course this was a more valuable target. Problem was for me, if I remember right, I think only my dive bomb was going out. But not my torpedo bombers, so I'm not sure why. I have normally torpedoes here, and it was a navy strike, so it's a little unlucky why my torpedo bombers don't want to go out. Uh, yeah, missed opportunity, and the rest is still okay. I took here, the, yeah, not so important. I'm waiting still for more forces arriving at Rabul. And yeah, uh, my my armored cruiser left Pago Pago, and now going direction uh, Rabul. And I don't go for super because it's too risky. I don't know what. Uh, I have no really no information what uh, Allied present is here. I have some submarines to secure the ports and see how much uh, traffic is there. But this is of course always only a. Uh, very limited or uh, uh, um, indicator how busy the area is really. Uh, and my carriers are now a source of Guam. 
on the way to truck yeah so we see what one day two days i can arrive in truck and see you next time take care bye bye